Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. That's true there, there, Jared. We do have a few storms out there that we're monitoring. Gert, Katia, and another area of interest down in the eastern reaches of the Atlantic, and that's going to be the one that we'll have to watch over the next week. The others, thankfully, no impact to land, and they're going to remain out over the open Atlantic here. Locally, we are expecting the heat. That's our big story as we progress through the rest of our holiday weekend. We're quiet, though, in the Red Rose City as we take that easterly jog over some of downtown. We are seeing some clouds trying to slip in, though, from the northwest. This is super Doppler rate. We can see some sprinkles off to the north and west as well up across the Great Lakes. Really not going to amount to much as this disturbance sinks in. But we are going to see some clouds from it from time to time as we progress through the remainder of the night. Lows dip towards 70 degrees. It's going to be a muggy one out there once again, just like this past morning and really through the day, we felt the mugginess. Tomorrow morning, low to mid 80s under just a few clouds and the same story for the afternoon. Hot, humid, we'll have highs in the low to mid 90s under plenty of sunshine with this feels like temps even hotter. We hit 94 today, well above normal, beyond 10 degrees above average, not terribly shy of that record of 102 set back in the early 1950s and we may be breaking some more records Later this week, it looks like we could be doing it tomorrow because we're forecasting 94. The old record is 93 set back in 2015. We may do it on Tuesday and potentially Wednesday. Tying a record set back in the early 1980s. A hot summer like stretch on the way into the first full week of the month. It's now 78 in Lancaster, 80 on the dot in Carlisle, 68 in Sealands Grove. The same goes for those of you in the White Rose City with dew points in the middle 60s. It is for certain muggy. And we're going to have these readings continuing, if not becoming higher over the next few days, keeping the muggy feeling not just for our Labor Day, but right through the mid to latter half of this upcoming work week with some dew points getting up close to 70. So it's going to feel a bit rough out there out at Capona, uh, but at least it's going to be dry. Just make sure you're keeping yourself hydrated, sipping on something refreshing as temps surge back into the middle 90s for the afternoon. Remember that goes through six o'clock on Labor Day. You can see this feels like temps could get beyond the century mark as we progress throughout our Monday afternoon. So not just staying hydrated, but trying to take some breaks indoors and remember to wear some of that light colored clothing too. If you know you're going to be outside for any prolonged period as we step through predictor, stepping through the rest of our Sunday night into the wee hours of our Monday, we can see some of those clouds. We'll call it a mixture of clouds and stars as we head toward breakfast time, getting going on Monday. Maybe you're heading home from the long weekend. Shouldn't have any issues, at least as far as the weather is concerned from Mother Nature. We'll see more sunshine for the afternoon, but the heat that's going to be our main concern that continues through uh, dinner time tomorrow. Temperatures still hanging out right around 90 under a nice amount of sunshine, but at least it's good for the beaches, right? We are going to see a nice amount of sunshine as we head through the next few days. We'll have temperatures back close to 90 tomorrow. It's going to be really hot as we head through the middle and the latter half of the week. The one plus is water temperatures are in the mid 70s, so it'll feel nice and refreshing jumping in to the Atlantic with temperatures as hot as what we're expecting down the shore. Now our news 8 storm team 10 day forecast shows temperatures starting to drop as we head through late week. That's coming with some storm chances and a cold front driving those as this ridge starts to break down. Football Friday could be a little dicey. We're expecting some showers and thunderstorms. It looks like they'll linger into Saturday as that upper level portion of the storm system swings eastward, but behind it, we are expecting a bit more sunshine on Sunday. Highs in the low 80s, and we stay cooler and more comfy too as we head through the middle part of next week. Jerry, highs get back into the 70s with lows in the 50s. All righty. Thank you, TJ.